Okay, so uh, I want to teach you guys to not make the same mistakes that I make and continue. Well, I shouldn't say that. I want to teach you guys to not make the same exact mistakes that I have made and to learn from my mistakes and others. And, and so the purpose of this video is to show you exactly what you need to do when you're searching for an anvil. All right, so draw a, a little anvil here. Um, let's see. Got a little. Da, da, da. Okay, all right, so let's just imagine for a second here that this is an ideal anvil. All right. And let's say that you've gone to got some Craigslist ad and you're gonna go look at this anvil. And you're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna spend, you know, four hundred and fifty dollars on this. Uh I don't know. Uh, what was it, Bud Bud Hayden or um one of the other you know major uh manufacturers um of good good anvils. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is, you know what, when you check it out, you're going to look at the surface. Like everyone always talks about how, how machine it is and, you know, how, 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 how square the, the edges are. Yes, that's true. But for an amateur, uh, um, a weekender like myself and like most of the rest of you are, you know, if you're picking up your first anvil, it's not going to be perfect and you don't want to end up spending $1,500 on a, on a ridiculous, uh, anvil. Okay. So. With that in mind, you're gonna bring like a small hammer. Um, that's what I did when I bought the actual um, anvil that I have now. And what you're gonna do is lightly tap it and it'll make a sound, hopefully it'll have the sound of a ring. Unlike my first purchase, okay? So I'm gonna tell you this, um, you know, the title of my YouTube uh, channel is Hardway McGee, and part of that is because I wanna share my mistakes so others don't make them. Um, okay, so with that in mind, what I did is I went to a recycling yard. Uh, I found a guy that had a bunch of anvils, and he had them for sale. He, he brought one to his work. I bought it. However, before I bought it, and it was right around 100, 100 pounds, right before I bought it, I'm like, hey, man, hey, is this cast iron? Because that's kind of like the death wish, right? You, you don't want your anvil to be cast iron. It's absolute junk when it comes to forging anything. And basically, had I brought a hammer or some sort of high carbon tool to, to bounce off the surface of the anvil, I would have never made this, this mistake. I didn't have that. I just kind of looked at it. It looked like it's got a name brand on it, and you know what a fool, right? I, and I took it home, and I even fooled myself into thinking that oh no, that's, it must be pretty good, right? Until I started to work on it, and it just man, when you when you hit a, a tool on the surface of a, a cast iron anvil, it absorbs all of your energy. That's the absolute opposite of what you want. You want something that's going to reflect it. Just like it will when you take, you know, when you do your research, like I didn't, take like a hammer. Um, some people suggest like a ball bearing. I don't, I don't think that that's, I think that's, uh, one, it's, it's kind of silly because it's like you're taking like a ball bearing to some random place or wherever you're going to buy an anvil from and you're going to be, you know, bouncing this, this, uh, this, uh, uh, ball off of the surface in hopes that it goes up high, right? Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, it might work okay, but I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that it'd be a heck of a lot easier just using like a hammer. And 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 so when you do that, it'll the 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 surface of the the anvil will bounce the the face of the hammer off of it. So just any little effort you can tell, and it'll have a ring to it. All right. I mean, that's it's just a straightforward way of not getting screwed over. And I don't want anyone else to, to the same thing to happen to them. Um, yeah. If there's any questions on that, let me know. Uh, 
Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but I think I do on this one. All right. Talk to you later, guys.